hello folks, welcome to another episode of the Pirate Round. I be Captain Scottopus here, this be the Scarth Raven, that be uh, Pi Rat, who is rolling bottles around. Um, for some reason, we don't know why Pirate uh, Pi Rat actually uh, has a lot to do with firing the signal cannon, and we're not sure why pirates become so agitated. But, we're going to pour out a little bit of a sip here, to say hello to you. Um, pour it out from the Crystal Skull. Brought a little Jamaican Mountain Red here. There we go. Oh, finest rum. Oh, finest finest rum. rum in the... Finest rum in the, in the whole of the West Indies. In Seven Seas. And uh, we say to you folks, welcome to this episode of the Pirate Round. I'd be Captain Scaltopus here. This be the Scarlet Raven. And we welcome you and we say Yarhar. Yarhar. Mm. Yarhar. Yarhar. It's good. That's better than a cannon blast to the gillet. It is. Now, Scar's Raven, some time ago we did an episode on pirate comic books. Right. Uh, Long John Silver. Long John Silver. And it was a French uh, uh, originated comic book with artists and writers. And uh, it was very uh, artistic, very, uh, uh, very uh, kind of atmospheric and very mysterious and very, very, very well done. Oh, very cinematic. Artwork. Beautiful yeah. artwork. Four graphic novels, or was it four three? graphic novels? Yes, was it four graphic novels with a with a consistent quality all the way through. Yeah. And so we'd like to be uh, on the lookout for other pirate-related sort of comic books and, and novels and things. And the Scarlet Raven was perusing an old old pirate map shop in downtown Port uh, Port New Providence, and found this. And this here book is called A Man Among Ye. And it be a story, a, a comic book story, about Anne Bonny. Right. Now, Anne and Jack and, and Mary. Anne, Jack, and Mary. Now, of course, we don't have Anne Bonny here. We have <laughs> Anne Bernie. Bernie, who uh, always is one to say she's not Anne Bonny, she's Anne Bernie. And the Anne stole her name. True. Um, what you have is a rather fine, interesting... Uh, original artwork story uh, written by Stephanie Phillips, and I'll read a little bit about her later, uh, illustrated by Craig Chermack, who has done quite a bit of, of alternative comics and superhero comics, and uh, really done a fantastic job uh, arting uh, and illustrating this comic book. And uh, it's, it's a great story. It's from Imageworks and Top Cow, and they've done a great job presenting the, the generalized sort of fantasy oriented history of Anne Bonny. It's a yeah, it's a different telling of Anne and Jack and Mary. Um, now there was quite a few months ago I was perusing and I saw that this was a new graphic novel mm -hmm. comic that was coming out. Yep. And immediately when I saw that it was about Anne Bonny, it's like I've got to have that. True. Now we don't have too many graphic novel comic book shops in our area. We've got one that we don't like because they've not done a very good job. No, they haven't. In the well, past, we're not going to mention their name at all. We won't mention their names, but they're not too far up the road from us. No. Uh, no. They also deal in games. Yeah. Named after Mystical Beast. Ah. But th that's as far as we're going. Yep. And the first issue I got pretty easily. Now, yep. there's there's two covers. There's yep. an alternate cover. It's an alternate cover there. Right. Uh, that one shows Anne Bonny sort of in a big fighting scrum uh, with a whole bunch of fighting pirates around her. Right. And this one shows her sitting on a throne is almost like Queen of the Pirates, surrounded by all her jewels and gems. Right. Now, Stephanie Phillips, Craig uh, Kermack, uh, Sermak Kermack, Brittany Pazilio, and Troy Pateri. Yeah. Now, we like to board these in plastic. Yeah, you'll be but, careful. Um, we don't want to screw them up here. But yeah. they're they're really quick reads. Yeah, <laughs> get that reads. Um, just to kind of give you some of the art. There you go. It's so it it's very well colored, very well drawn. It is comic booky, but also uh, quite well done. It is sort of an adult comic because there is adult language, and adult uh, situations in it. Right. Uh, definitely not for children, um, but. It's not insulting for adults either. Yeah, fine artwork. That's, yep, that's very good artwork. Spread. They're not real long. No, um, they read quite easily. They do. They, they go very fast. They're a good involved story. 
it's not historically accurate per no. se, but it is sort of a fantastical retelling of Anne Bonny's story. Now, as you know, I like everything Anne and Mary and, and, and Jack. Um, they're probably one of my favorite pirates. Well, I don't know what he's rolling the bones for. Um, but, you know, when I saw these, like I said, I, I, I knew I had to get this. this oh, yeah. One, it's about pirates, and well, two, sure. it's about... And um, the artwork was rather interesting. And I don't know how many issues there's going to be. I hope um, quite a few. We were at another store the other day, and he was talking to him that number three is coming out. It, it releases every other month. Yeah. It was originally supposed to be every month, because, but because of the plague that's going around, yeah. they changed it to every other month. And he said something about a... Um, a graphic novel uh, coming out in, I think, December. So I don't know if it's going to be a three or four part or more series. Yeah. But it's it's very well done. I mean, just look at that. You've got... Look at that. That is just fantastic. Um, you know, pirate comic books are rare enough that those of us who like pirate history and pirate fantasy, pirate stories, music books, movies... Um, it's, it's interesting that, you know, it, you want to grab hold of something like this because they're not that common. There's tons of superhero comics. There's tons of zombie comics. There's tons of serial killer comics. There's tons of everything. But there's not a whole lot of pirate comics out. No. So when you find them, it's a delicious treat to share right. and to collect. Now, there's a good image of An. And uh, what a cool outfit. You know, that black and red. It's like, I could, I could you know, I'm more than happy to do that. Oh, outfit, sure. You know, oh, sure. play that. Not that I look anything like Anne. Let's do. Wait. I mean, it's a fantastic it's, it's image, good. but it's good. Stephanie Phillips, uh, American author and creator of the comic and graphic novels such as The Butcher of Paris, Artemis and the Assassin, and uh, The Descendant. Her stories and comics have been published by DC, Dark Horse, Heavy Metal, Aftershock, Black Mask, and more. She's also pretty sure that uh, Carol Baskin fed her husband to the Tigers, she says. Not sure what that Craig means. Craig Cermak. Uh, Craig has drawn Elvira, Betty Page, Voltron Year One, co-creator of Red Team Dynamite Comics, a oh, Red Team Dynamite Comics, as well as a soon-to-be-released title Nursery First Comics. He's also been working on an original sci-fi project titled Carnus. His days and nights are spent at the drawing table on the north side of Chicago, aided by dark chocolate and green tea, and his trusty cat. Barda. Yeah, bilge cats. Bilge cats. Now, here's an interesting thing. Uh, this is where um, Stephanie Phillips talks a bit about the, her motivations for making this comic, and this is very interesting. She says, Dead men tell no tales. I think everyone's hometown has a tradition or event of some kind that seems absolutely normal until you leave home and realize no one else has heard of this thing and thinks it sounds really odd. Well, I'm from Tampa, Florida, and we really like pirates. And I don't mean in a, we named our football team the Buccaneers sort of way. I mean the kind of pirate obsession that spans week-long festivals with giant pirate parades and models of pirate ships invading Tampa Bay. And drunken Floridians dressed as pirates demanding the keys to the city from the mayor. Yeah, we call this tradition Gasparilla, in honor of the pirate named Jose Gasparilla, who might be fictitious or not, who was said to wander the Bay Area. Pirates and drunk people on boats throwing beads, that's our kind of thing. I mention Gasparilla because, one, it's really odd and funny, and two, because I find it fascinating just how much pirate lore and mythology has invaded our lives. Pirate fact is a bit tough to come by, but the legends and myths of these oftentimes larger-than-life rebels live on in popular culture to ignite a sense of adventure for the audience. Anne Bonny is one of such pirate legend who is decidedly more myth than fact. Unlike Jose Gaspar, there is actually a record that Anne Bonny existed, but that record is fairly scarce. So, she's, she's taken a bit of the pirate fact, and she starts out from a love of pirates, from being from Tampa Bay, Florida. Taken a bit of the pirate fact, melded it with some myth, and come up with the, the comic books. And I, I really appreciate that because I love pirate lore, I love pirate stories, I love pirate stuff like that. 
and for her to put together a really great sort of pirate uh, comic book with great art is, is fantastic, and I thank her so much for doing that. I think people would enjoy reading these comics if they could they're find good. them. They're, they're, they're good and they're fun. You know, they're fun, they're good to read, and they're well put together. And folks, comic books aren't just for kids. Comic books are, to a great deal, for adults, too. Um, we can enjoy now in our days, as we get a little older, we can enjoy great illustrated stories. I mean, goodness gracious, people spend all their whole time staring at their phones and walking around like this. Goodness, if you can stare at your phone all day... Wi-Fi zombies. Yeah, Wi-Fi zombies and play games on it. Why can't you look at a comic book, too? So, this is number one, A Man Among Ye. Um, these are the alternate covers. This is the alternate, right here. Oh, yeah, that's this the alternate cover. Okay, there's the covers for number one. Okay. And then here, which we got uh, about two weeks ago? Yeah. Here is A Man Among Ye, number two. And on there we have Anne Bonny, and we have the newly introduced Mary Reed, who looks like a child, because we know yeah. uh, historically Mary Reed was quite old. And she was actually much older. Yeah, so... 10, 10 to 15 years older. There's a bit of license taken with the story. Uh, Woods Rogers um, blames, his, sure, blames his wound on Jack Rackham. We know <laughs> that Woods Rogers got his mouth shot out by Spaniards, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, but... You know, it's fantasy. I mean, who complains about Pirates of the Caribbean being historically accurate or not? Come there's on. A, there's a picture of Jack, Jack Rackham. Yeah. So, um, I just like the fact that we have these characters brought forth from their past into the modern day. Woods Rogers, Jack Rackham, and Bonnie, Mary Reed. Mm -hmm. And uh, once again, audiences now can get to enjoy what's going on in the story and the fun that, you know, the fun and adventure of pirate lore and legend. It actually adds another pirate, female pirate, in here. Yeah, I noticed that on the last page that they were bringing her in, which is really yes. interesting. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a whole cast of characters, uh, real or imagined, that's and it, it all yeah. just kind of, you know, comes comes about. Right, and so. It's, it's good. Um, like I said, when I saw that this was coming out, I knew we needed to collect them. True. Uh, one being... That you know the fan that I am of Anne and Mary and, and Jack, mm -hmm. and two because it is a pirate comic and True. you don't get those very often. No, they're not. Now, issue three I believe is is due in October. You may still be able to find these or get these from the comic book store, or you might want to just wait till the graphic novel if there's a, a graphic novel that comes out. I'm sure they will because everybody does that nowadays. Yeah, you could try ordering it from Image Top Cow. Um, actually, you can't give me give it, get it from Image oh, Top you Cow. Can't. Goodness. No. Uh, that was one thing I looked at because mm. the comic book store, like I said, that we don't like, they've, they've done us wrong so many times in the past. We don't oh, like yeah. going there. <clears throat> um, when I tried to get it on Image, I couldn't. Now, I could go out to Comic Hub and find a comic shop in my area where I could get it and I could order it. You may still be able to order the, some of the back issues from Comic Hub and find the, uh, the nearest comic book store to you that might have it. Uh, that's one way to do it. Now, the, the local store that we have here in our town, we never go there, but we walked in there the other day after this this other comic book store kind of did us wrong, and uh, well, it was we asked him, we yeah, asked him. It was interesting that he knew about it. Yes. He I, said, oh, the pirate one. Yes, I asked him, and he's like, um, he couldn't remember. He, he says, well, I might be able to get it through my other store, mm -hmm. and I, I went and looked on his shelves, and I found it, and I says, here's the comic music. Oh, yes, the pirate one. Yeah, so he knew about it. So where's the other place they don't care? This guy at least cared. So I right. got to say that. So anyway, shop local if you can. So um, a man go. among you. A man among you. What, do you. what would you give that graphic novel? It's not a graphic novel. A graphic comic or comic, whatever you want to call it. Um, I stand corrected. Well, I mean, it's just starting out, but the way it's looking, I'd give it three and a half cannon blasts. I love the artwork. I love the uh, coloration of the story. Uh, you know, it's pretty good. It's it's a good start, right. and it's not fine art, but it is interesting comic, which I like comics. So there you go. We like certain comics. We're not into well, superhero comics. No, not that much. No, but still, and I like it. Right. It's good. <clears throat> it's fun. So, folks. We're going to say uh, farewell to you and smooth sailing, 
and uh, during these tough times, you know, find find your stories and find your adventures any way you can. Whether find your it be escape. whether it be in a movie, a book, music, or comics, a game, a game whatever you want to do. Um, be strong, folks. We're going to make it through this. We're going to come out the other side, and we're going to be uh, tougher and harder, and we're going to have more fun at our pirate fests than ever before. And the Scars Raven and I want to say that we're with you. You're not alone. We're here in our big family and our big community. And I say to you now, uh, never let anyone grind you down. Don't let anyone grind you under their boot heel. You'll be a pirate. You'll be strong. You'll be, you'll be tough. And stick with it. Stick with your guns and always be true to yourself and always be a pirate. Now, also, I want to say International Pirate Community Women, uh, the, the official year of women pirates, the uh, cards are uh, on pre-sale. And uh, there's 54 cards. All the women uh, are uh, international, uh, true. not just American. There's some from Mexico, Brazil, Germany, uh, Sweden, uh, many, uh, many, many places. Some of the Ibanez yep. privateer women are in there. Some yep. of the Pat Raskett. Some of the Stormfront. Uh, I am in there. I am the uh, the Ace of Spades. So there you go. So folks. there you go. And when, those are on pre-sale right now through the IPC, and I'll be posting links uh, here on that. So, folks, you're hard and smooth sailing from the pirate round. Like, share, and subscribe, and share the wonder and adventure. And we'll see you on the seas. <laughs>